this is out for DJ Mac for Wink Sound. We're going to talk about sampling using my Victoria Mini Brute. So there's a lot of reasons why you might want to sample your hardware synths. The biggest one is that you might not always have this thing with you. So if you have your laptop and you have samples of it, you can still play around with it. Also, what you can do is rack these things up into interesting Ableton Live racks, put effects on them. You can make use of some cool features in the sampler, such as playing around with loop points or giving it some FM oscillation. I've made this clip here, and I've got notes that are about a bar long, a little bit less because I want that little space so I can get that re-triggering of the envelope filters and the LFOs and stuff. So a good technique is to just not make these notes run right into each other unless you want that glide. Another thing to keep in mind though, this sound here doesn't last very long. You might have another sound with some cool modulation, some LFOs that are playing with the filters and such. So you want to just make sure that your notes are long enough to capture all the modulations that are happening within the synth itself. So I'm going to take this clip, which has different C's, and I'm going to play it and record it onto this track, which is receiving audio from the synth itself. All I have to do is hit record and sit back and just wait for this to happen. As soon as it's done, I will change the parameters around, mess up, you know, all these sounds, different oscillators, and then I'll just repeat on the next clip right here. A couple things you might want to just pay attention to. Turn your loop off. So this way when I get to the end here, I don't just have it looping all and over again. It'll just stop. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Ableton Live. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 